Hello everyone, my name is Seth and today we're going to be learning how to deploy packages uh, and software to uh, workstations via SCCM 2007, the System Center Configuration Manager 2007. So without further ado, let's go, go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is um, we need to come down to our uh, site management, expand this, down to our site system. I'm going to make sure our distribution point is set up correctly. We're going to double click on distribution point and we need to enable um, as a standard distribution point. Make sure that is set up correctly. Also, uh, allow clients to transfer information from distribution point using bits. Um, it's up to you if you want to check mark this or not. So, make sure this is uh, enabled. Click OK. Alright, now we need to make sure that our site server is set up correctly. So you're going to double click on site server. Oops. Uh, site system, I'm sorry, not site server, site system. Um, so you come here and then you also make sure that specify the fully qualified domain name that that is um, checkmarked and ready to go. Use the server's computer account to install um, the system. That's, you can also specify another um, account also. Uh, you know, if you have a domain administrator account or whatever, you can specify that here. Um, but for now, we're we're good to go here. Uh, depending on depending on how you set up yours, you may want to change that here. Click OK. All right. So now what we need to do is just one more thing. You, we need to come to component um, configuration and software distribution. We need to make sure that. Um, where are the packages that are going to be stored? Because this is, a, you know, we're, we're testing everything. Everything is on local C drive. I left mine the same. Yours could be on a D drive. You can specify a, a, another place somewhere um, where all the packages are going to be stored. But for for our purposes, this is um, sufficient. Uh, distribution point. How many entries you want? Um, leave it all the same. Don't worry about that. Click OK. All right. So now that we know. Um, uh, our distribution is set up. Uh, we can come down here to computer management. Under computer management, we have software distribution. Under software distribution, as you can see, I've already deployed one package, which was the Adobe Acrobat Reader. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on packages, click on new package. Here, we're going to go ahead and name our package, and the package we're going to be deploying will be Firefox. I'm going to call it Firefox 3.0. Um, 6.x I'm sorry Firefox only version is 3.6.x manufacturer Mozilla languages English deployment review 2007 hit next this package contains source files we're going to click on this um, quickly just to show you guys when you download the um, executable you need to create um, anywhere on your network a shared directory or you can call it whatever you want I called mine source file it's shared and within it I have created multiple folders and that's where I place the executable so Adobe Acrobat was there Firefox and open office I've already created a Firefox 3 folder I'm going to go into it I've renamed for ease of use, I've renamed my executable to firefox.exe. So you place that in the shared directory, okay? So here you specify that shared directory. It can be on a network or in our case it's local. So I'm going to go out to it. Click OK. Alright, I'm going to hit um, Next, I'm gonna leave all this the same. I'm gonna hit next. Here, I'm gonna leave all this the same. Hit next. Same thing. Hit next, next, next. Finish and click close. So now we have a package created. If I click on the plus mark, as you can see here, we have a um, Firefox package created. I'm going to right click this and say um, I'm going to 
right click this go into programs right click new program I'm gonna call this Firefox deployment command line what is the command line now most of these packages come with some sort of um, uh, command line tools uh, command line executables um, switches I mean um, so you need to know what those are to know um, what the switches are kind of difficult so what you can do is you can either search them or I like to go to it's called appdeploy.com and there people usually post what the packages and their switches are here you know setup.exe dash ms4 silent install we want the silent install so here I'm gonna paste that in here but since we renamed our to Firefox I call it firefox.exe dash um, ms4 silent install we're gonna run this normally and nothing is required after um, actually what we need to do is uh, I want uh, config manager to restart the computer once uh, the application is um, set up because the config manager will know okay it looks like everything is installed properly let me go ahead and reboot so you do that hit next here um, I'm going to choose megabytes and how large is the file we're not really sure but you know just to be on the safe side I'm going to say 25 megabytes you can leave it unknown also it doesn't matter uh, but I just like to give it a number here you can specify the type of platform for we're just gonna leave this the same hit next um, okay only when a user is logged on how do you want this program to run we well, have three choices you have only when no user is logged on only whether or not a user is logged on or only when a user is logged on well I want to choose only when no user is logged on and hit next here you can specify other applications if you want to run them beforehand we don't we don't, we don't have any application that will precede this so we're just going to hit next hit next 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 and it's going to create the package okay you're going to click ok now that we've created the actual package we need to advertise it you're going to click on advertisement I'm going to right click new advertisement I'm going to call this Firefox Installation DSCCM. Okay. Now here are packages. I'm going to click on Browse and I'm going to go ahead and um, choose my package that I created here. I'm going to click OK. It's going to automatically put the package name in here for me. Um, collections. Um, where do I want to deploy this? So where do I want this advertisement to go? Well, you're going to click on Browse, and all your workstations are going to come up here. You can deploy it to all your systems, only to certain users, and uh, only to certain workstations, and so on and so forth. I'm only going to deploy this to my XP workstations. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Next. It says uh, it's going to create this advertisement. Click on Yes. It says when do you want to create this advertisement? Um, when do you want to assign this? Well, I want to assign this as soon as uh, we're done, as soon as possible. I'm going to choose this event um, immediately, immediately after this event. So I'm going to click choose the second option. It doesn't matter. You can choose now. It's going to uh, timestamp it right now with this timestamp. See, if I click this, you can use that or the other one. It doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead and use use this example. Priority, medium, um, program run, rerun behavior. What do you want to do when the program rerun? Uh, do you want all? Do you want it to always rerun? Uh, rerun if succeeded on previous attempts, so on and so forth. So forth. I'm gonna leave the default. It says rerun if failed previous uh, attempts. Okay. I'm going to leave this default. Hit next. We're going to say download content from distribution point and run locally. Well, our distribution point is here, so we're going to download it from here. 
when a client is connected with a slow or unreliable uh, network boundary, what do you want to do? Well, you're going to have some some clients are going to be slow, so you know you still want them to um, get the program. So you can click on download. Um, a lot of clients to follow back to unprotected distribution points when the content is not available. Well, well that's at your discretion. Do you want them to be um, to go back to some other source or not? Um, for our purposes testing, we're just going to leave this the same. Hit next. Okay, um, we're not concerned with this because we're the option we chose was that you know um, the user is not going to get see anything, so it's going to be a silent install. So we're not worried about that. Hit next. Hit next. Hit next here and close. And I'm going to refresh this. Come down here under advertisement here. I'm going to refresh. And as you see here, um, it showed up here. Once we've advertised it, what we need to do is we need to come up to distribution point and actually distribute it. So you're going to under Firefox, you're going to click on distribution, right click, new distribution point. You're going to hit next. You're going to choose your server from here, okay, your distribution point server. You're going to hit next and close. Now you're going to right click this again and say update distribution point and say yes. So now it's going to actually go out there and create a package for you, um, advertise it for you. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit until it actually goes out and creates a package. And as you can see here, it distrib it's created a folder um, and it's going to place the file in here and it's going to go ahead and distribute it. That's the hidden share, by the way, I don't know if I've explained this, the hidden share that SMS uses. Everything that you've created will um, a package. It'll come here. It's called the SMSPKGC dollar sign.